Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for today's horse racing action. I just want to apologise um, for this one being uploaded this morning. It wasn't uploaded last night, that was because I was out, it was my dad's birthday and we went out for a meal and we didn't get back till uh, quite late so I didn't really have uh, time to study up. So here I am for today's horse racing action that will be running this afternoon and things kick off in the 305 at air with a horse called Junius Brutus. Round about 9 to 2, but makers at the moment trained by Rafe Beckett and Harry Bentley is uh, but for the ride uh, today. Now, this uh, trainer, Rafe Beckett, arrives up in the air meeting in good form. He actually won with Dolphin Vista yesterday, you might remember, in the Doonesdale Cup, and he's got a good chance with Junius Brutus here, I thought. This horse absolutely loves soft ground, won previously on soft ground over in France and was a French horse until it moved over to the King Power ownership and uh, Rafe Beckett stable. Finished uh, second in a group three at Kempton last time out, wasn't disgraced there and I thought this was a little bit more easier compared to what's been running in recently and I think with the softest conditions this horse should go really well. One, two starts goes well at Ripon so been running well and I thought Junius Brutus today had a really good chance of going really close and should be there or thereabouts and it's going to be our first selection to kick off the video. We then go to the 410 at air with a horse called Adam Zale. Now this one is 20 to 1 but makers at the moment you can get six places with Skybet if you fancy this one each way. Now this horse, uh, the key to it is uh, going well fresh and it won on its actually seasonal appearance uh, back in April going fresh on softish conditions and it is a bit of a veteran horse, it's nine years old but it's trained by Marjorie Fife who knows how to do the job. Also as well a very promising uh, conditional rider Faye McManaman is but for the ride, going to be able to take £7 off, so that's really going to help here, and this horse has won its last three starts on softish ground, so I thought today this horse could be a major player in the race, and we know it goes well fresh, we know it likes the conditions, and really that's what you're looking for in a solid race like this, and I thought today in the 4 tenner air, Adam Zale could be the one that maybe uh, springs a surprise maybe to a few. So that's going to be the selection there. We then go for a bit of jumps action um, in the 420 at Newton and Abbott with a horse called Highway 101. Now this one is uh, around about 7 or 4 best odds of bookmakers at the moment. I know, and I've actually seen this horse and I will uh, include uh, some footage um, if I can find it over myself when I'm talking now because it's trained by Chris Gordon and Tom Cannon's but for the ride. Now, I actually went and did the stable visit earlier in the year at Chris Gordon where I interviewed him for my uh, uni work. He had a really good season last year and he's got some nice horses that hopefully will kick on for him this year. And Highway 101 was one of those, was a very good hurdler for him last uh, last year and ran a really good race in uh, the Big Novice Hurdle Championship at Sandown when he only finished in second place. But this horse... Uh, I was told by Chris Gordon, they always had chasing in mind, and it makes its chase David you today at Newton Abbott. There is quite a warm a novice chase, though, because you've got the likes of Flying Tiger, who's a previous Cheltenham Festival winner. There's also, as well, some top yards represented, so it's not going to be easy for him. But I thought today this horse had a good chance. Chris Gordon had a winner a couple of weeks ago. He's not sending out many horses yet because he's more of a proper jumps trainer. He doesn't really like too many in the summer jumping. But he also had a good second the other day with how long in the, how long is a foot at Worcester. So I think his horses are running really well at the moment. They should be really respected. And I thought today Highway 101 could maybe deliver on Chris Gordon's promise of um, this horse being a good promising star for him. And I'm going to recommend that one as our third selection. We then go to the 505 at Newbury with a horse called Western Duke. Now, I thought this one was a really interesting contender. Around about 14 to 1 bookmakers at the moment. Now trained by Ian Williams, who's stable in really good form. Stevie Donahoe is booked for the ride. Now, this horse recently changed hands uh, to Ian Williams um, from Rafe Beckett, and it's kind of the typical Ian Williams purchase. He does wonders with other horses, and this horse is going to be making its stable debut today. Had a really good season, this one, as a three-year-old. Showed a lot of promise, but has been very mixed this year, and is probably one of the reasons why it's uh, changed to hands. But I still thought it wouldn't take too much for Ian Williams to get the best out of Western Duke. And if he's anywhere near his levels, he's a massive player in this race, I thought, today at the prices. And I thought he could go really well. He had a good third place earlier on in the year at Ascot in a very competitive handicap. He's dropped down a few pounds now to a mark in the mid-80s. And I thought he was potentially quite a well-handicapped horse. And he could probably be quite well in here. I think he could be about 5 or 10 
10 pounds better in over over time i think he could maybe get to the mid 90s uh, with a bit more uh, progression i still think he could have a little bit more to show and ian williams is very capable of doing that and with his yard in good form i thought this one was quite a good selection so that's going to be uh, the final selection to end off the video so hopefully we can improve how we're doing at the moment it hasn't been good too good this week on my channel on the punch page however we've had a decent um decent run of things over the last week or so but hopefully we can start to get a few more winners back in this channel it would be nice so yeah that's all i've got to say really so please gamble responsibly please subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already also as well you can follow me on my handle at lucky loads 15 so go and check me out if you haven't done so already the descriptions uh to how to follow me will be at the end of this video so please stay tuned for that and that's all i've got to say so please gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon.